How soon after does that rehab start? Well, it really depends on the patient. Once they're medically stable, we're usually consulted to come in and see the patient. This usually happens between the first 24 to 48 hours at the hospital. Um, we come in, evaluate the patients, determine what deficits are present, um, come up with goals for the patient, see what their prior level of function was, and you know what we're going to work towards. Um, and then we usually see uh, patients throughout their whole hospital stay. Okay, and Harini, paint a picture for us, if you can, about what the physical therapy entails. So the physical therapy is mainly focused on the patient's mobility. So if there are any deficits as far as the person cannot move their arm or their leg, usually what will happen is they're not able to get up from bed as they used to, they're not able to get up from a chair as they used to, they're not able to walk. Um, so we're going to help the patient do anything mobility related. Um, the same, we're going to make sure that we have a good idea of what's going to happen once that patient goes home. Um, are they going to need to negotiate stairs or curves to get into their mm -hmm. home? Um, and also what kind of help will be available? So do we have to train a family member to help that person to, to be able to do those things? And in that video that we saw with uh, Dr. De Los Rios, uh, I, I, I was marveled to see that um, the, the lady the using robotic the robotic therapy. How yes. is that helping? Obviously, she's looking at a screen and moving her arms and doing what? Is she right. working her brain? Is she working the so arm? So it's set up kind of like a video game, really. Oh. You have um, a screen that's showing you different images, and you have to control a moving dot to get to certain targets. And she's strapped onto the machine so that whatever movement she is able to do on her own, um, with her arms, she'll be able to do, but if she needs help, the robot will mm. kind of compensate for whatever's lacking. And how long does rehab normally last, Gabriela? I know for everybody it's different. It is. Um, <laughs> it depends, like I said, on your deficits. There are patients that come in and they have minor deficits, so they're able to return home and seek uh, outpatient therapy or home health therapy. Um, there's patients that are really critical. Um, they might have respiratory failure involvement, they might have to go on a ventilator, or they have oxygen requirements. Those patients might go to what's called an LTAC, or a long-term acute care hospital. It's kind of an extension of being in the hospital. And then patients that have multiple deficits and still have difficulty with mobility might go to an inpatient rehab facility or a skilled nursing facility.